Hey everyone, what about here and welcome to Book of Hours, the sequel or successor to Cultist Simulator. I don't actually know if there's really much like a uh, plot follow up, but it very much has a lot of the same like design ideas and mechanics and whatnot. Made by Weather Factory, a uh, kind of branch company from the uh, Fallen London, the people that made uh, Sunless si Skies and Sunless Seas. So we're just going to dive into this one and see how it goes. The good, bad, the bad, and the ugly, and it's gone. There's been no librarian at the Hush House since the fire. Seven years now. Suitable candidates are very difficult to find, but perhaps we found one in you. Take care on your journey. The seas around Brenkrug are treacherous. Alright, so unlike Cultist Simulator, this one is way less punishing and does not have as many failure states. I think it's a little easier to, like, figure out, too. Uh, there's going to be a lot of UI, though. Navigating Brenkrug. Left-click to interact with objects and rooms. Right-click or use cursor keys. Uh, to move your view around. Cool. That's a little slow, but whatever. I'll make it work. All right, so I can't go too far. Ah, we have two locks. Brankrug is a tidal island. At low tide, you could walk there. Though, you probably shouldn't. Okay, we need a card, though. Let's see. Brankrug Village. Sanctuary in the storm. I'll need to help... I'll need help to climb the cliffs in the dark. And the locals are suspicious of outsiders. More than ever so since the restoration and the new king. All right, so we also have the cold comes first, thunder, growling, waves pounding, and finally me, sprawled on the sodden sand of the beach. There's something in my hand. All right, so we have health, half drowned, memory, storm, and a drowned book. The one possession I kept from the shipwreck. It must be important to me. Right, so we've lost our memories. What do I, what do I have left to work with? My health. Sav salvage my health? I'm soaked. I'm freezing. But as far as I can tell, I'm alive. You still have some health. Don't lose it. You need it if you want to leave. Live. What else do you have? Okay. Memory of a storm. Can't get my thoughts straight. Perhaps there's something in the book. Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. Uh, with my health? No. Book's in bad shape and I'm not much better. We're both in need of a warm, dry, dry, warm, dry, safe place and soon. There was a storm. It smashed the ship like an egg. But I seized this book as the sea seized me. Then the sea brought me here to Brandkrug. Let's start working with those. Now I can also change the speed. So we can pause it. Pause and unpause. And then we can also increase the speed of everything. Let's see. And Brandkrug is where I wanted to be. But it's hard to remember why. What else did I lose in the storm? So let's just collect everything. So I've got Shaft, Core, and Fet. Uh, core, exuberance, instinct, rhythm, fet, part of us which dreams, and then shaft, eloquence, and understanding. The door opens both ways, so what else do I have to work with? I think I get to choose which of these I like. So the part of us that dreams, exuberance, instinct, and rhythm, or eloquence. Yes, that's me. What else is there? Okay. I see. So I can interact using one of these. The human soul has nine parts. Eloquence and understanding rise from the part of the soul we call shaft. Am I shaft strong? Recover this, and the other two will be lost to the sea. For now. Sure. We might as well. I, I'm probably going to be able to get them at a later date, but I figure uh, going diplomacy usually seems like a good idea. This is the coast where Brankrug Isle lies. My sources brief me thoroughly about the place, and I know there's no way I can cross the isle, cross to the isle in these seas. I'll need to find shelter for the night. Alright, so we've got Metal. Capacity for Meaningful Choice. Wist. Name, Memory. That part which remains. Most librarians know that books have souls. Most librarians hope for books with simple souls of Wist and nothing else. Faust. Sight, Perception, Inspiration. All the glory's gifts. Pride, Compassion, Hatred, and Fear. Okay, so I think we get to choose between our next one. Capacity for meaningful choice. Name, memory, part that remains. Boast, sight, perception, inspiration. Okay, choose a strong foast. And a pass with a pursuer who can see the light within you. The wave still will wash away the others for now. What about metal? Strong metal, a pass where you made mistakes. That's will. Wist. Strong wist, and a pass where you sought voices that had fallen silent. I like that. Wist is the soul's memory, and the true name scratched on its cornerstone. What remains after the rest is past? I guess there's some other bits here. 
Metal is the soul's tempering, will self-discipline, that which of a, uh, that part of us which makes the right choice. Boast. Uh, light within sight, perception, and inspiration. Then the main thing is the verse sewer is worrisome. An Arab. Arab is the shadow in the soul's cellar. Pride, fear, hatred, and compassion. Ashens were paramount. Yeah, I think let's go whist. I like the idea of kind of finding my stats this way and choosing my playthrough. There's still things I don't remember, but I do remember there's someone in the village who will give me sanctuary, if I can get there. Mysteries have been added to your journal. You can investigate them when both you and your journal are dry. So an old friend's address, Wist Shap, and that. We have this. Shelter. Brankrug Village must be nearby, but it's hard going, dragging my soaked body across the soaked sand in the teeth of the wind. Which way? Memory, fear. Brankrug Village... Uh, village and shelter lies nearby. If only I can muster the remaining strength to find help. Perhaps there's someone out there even in this we weather. I can fill my lungs and bellow for help. Also mean I don't need to crawl any further. Or whist. Ah, doesn't match the slot requirements. You gotta get used to this, because each of these cards have kind of tags to go with them. Uh, so this one gives us forge... E, forge knock, soul, and occupants. Yeah, let's just start. So let's call for help. Okay. Gonna keep telling me how to navigate Brankrug. Okay, at last I see a light of a hurricane lamp bobbing in the dark. As it approaches, a face glimmers above the lamp. Fisherman's assistance. Let's collect those. Although not in the library, please. Talk to Fisherman's ex uh, okay. Come no closer, what's thy business? Okay, not Whist. Here? No. Health. Also no. It's a friend's address. Be someone that'll speak, uh, be someone that'll speak for ye. Of course, since 1930 and the restoration, the locals have grown ever more suspicious of foreigners. But there's someone in Bran Brankrug I know. I do like the tag system. I definitely remember in the previous game kind of flailing items at slots and hoping for the best, and this feels like a better system. I'm still going to be flailing items at slots, but at least I can stop and say, oh, this goes here. I'll take you by the cliffs then. The gentleman is no longer skeptical. Okay, I don't really want to talk. Oh, so that's talk. That's consider. Consider the fisherman. Nope. I guess I can, Oh, if I click this, we can actually consider it. Okay, shouldn't try this... Uh, I should drive this book out before trying to read it. Alright, so we want to go here. Guidance, Fisherman's... Uh, fisherman's Assistance. Right, let's just let that go for a smidge. I found my way through the storm to Brankrug Village. Okay. But we want to go up here. Mr. and Mr. Uh, Mrs. and Mr. Uh, Kyle. Mrs. Kyle is the mid- The midwife is tall and gloomy. Mr. Kyle, the undertaker, is slight and wry. In these troubled times, both are wary of strangers. You need a suitably marked introduction. Check the slot. An old friend's address. Oh, we can just right-click it. Mr. Kyle struggles with the door. The wind almost snatches it from his hands. The wind plucks at you both. Okay. Shelter. Health. Mr. Kyle struggles with the door. Okay. His eyes widen as he sees me. I like the fact that I can right-click the slots and it's just like, yeah, these are things that can go in. Like, this game feels like a perfect response to the frustrations of Cultist Simulator. I'm like, maybe if I went back now, they've actually done a lot of quality of life patching to make it a smoother experience. I, I don't know. I, I gave it a lot of time and effort back when it first came out, but I just... I couldn't do it. I kept getting stuck and frustrated and it got kind of slow. And then managing all the cards became a bit of a chore. And so this feels like a much more streamlined, much more user-friendly experience. Uh, while also having more of that story, story element that I'm kind of... I, I kind of craved in the previous one. Uh, so Mr. Kyle constructed the bed himself. I rather fear 
with the same tools he uses to shape coffins. But it's, it's not a comfortable bed, but it's dry, clean, and warm. What is that? Memory satisfaction. Some appetites are easier than others. Well, I don't think there's much I can do at the moment. Let's just speed it up. I sit up talking with Mr. and Mrs. K as the wind rattles the shutters and the fire shrugs its way emperorward. I'm very hungry and Mrs. K's galettes are impossibly good. Mr. K pretends to grumble about foreign cooking. No one is convinced. Mrs. Kyle, the mid... Okay, yeah, we've already seen this. Front room. Memory satisfaction. So what can we... What can we do here? We can do whist. Mr. Kyle enjoys a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Kyle will offer help as a friend. Okay, so what can we... What can we do? We can put in the book. Mrs. Kyle... It could be kill. It probably is, in retrospect. Mrs. Kill. Gloomy as always. Kind as ever. Lights the kitchen fire and helps me dry the book. Well, Mr. K Mr. Kill stays away from the ne uh, away in the next room. Earth always leaves marks, she opines, as she carefully tucks fragments of m muslin between the damp pages. Okay, so let's collect those. Let's see, so I can't do anything here at the moment, I don't think. What about over here? Front steps. No, can't go can't go there. Post office is locked. May have something for me once I know what to ask for. After the restoration of 1930, the new king's agents came looking for his enemies in these parts. They weren't gentle about it. Since those days the locals are suspicious of foreigners. No one in the sweet bones will talk to me. Okay, can't do anything with that. What about here? Smithy, lock. Denzel Smith has more work than he needs. He rarely opens his door to strangers. You need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance marked with edge, forge, or heart. Someone in a sim similar trade or someone who can appeal to a secret passage or pa passage, passion for saffron cake. Interesting. Do I have anything else around here? A walk in the moor. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that. What about down here? Guidance. I don't think I can do anything in the title flats. Oh, you know what? I know what I should do. I should consider my own book. Oh, I need a suitable soul card first. Grail, heart, and memory. Edge, scale, and memory. Yeah, so soul is something else. I guess if I had enough whist, I could maybe interact with it, but it is currently fatigued. No, it doesn't match the slot's requirements. So this will... Except winter... Hmm... It feels like it should be waiting for something. To the bridge. You can only keep five things in your belongings. The sixth item will be abandoned unless it ha already has a home. Abandoned items will wait for you outside the house. On the... Percubit bridge. Interesting. Well, what else can I do? Can I put anything in these slots? No. Can I talk? Doesn't look like I can do any talking. Okay. That just organizes the cards. Well, that's nice. I... Mm. Wait, we have the Tree of Wisdom. Hold up. No. Okay, so we can't do anything with the journal yet. Oh. Okay, and that's just options. Oh, you can actually save scum this game. Okay. And unfortunately, we've already hit that kind of upper limit of, wh what do I do now? Aspects that are especially helpful here. It needs all of Element of Soul. Hmm. 
My problem is I don't I don't remember. Okay, so essential. Only something with all of these aspects can go here. So it needs an introduction. So before I can do to that, I can go to that one. Wait. Oh, we can actually bring the book to the post office. Postmistress regards me with a chilly gaze of a goddess, a chilly gaze of a goddess image in an ancient hill shrine. The librarian, she says. Yes, I have something for you. Wait here, please. I guess I just assumed the post office was limited to me for some reason. The postmistress returns with an envelope addressed to the librarian, Hush House, Grand Craig Isle, postmarked in Wales a week ago. So we get our book back. We get a letter to the librarian and a 10 shilling note. Okay, letter to me from St. Ronwyn's Trust. The trust connection with the Hush House is probably benevolent, but persistently obscure. And we have 10 shillings. So let's collect those. Okay. Postmistress keeps the gate to the wider world. In her left hand is the lightning, which is to say the telegraph, and in her right, the thunder, which is to say the only telephone in Brancrug. Before her lies the cash register, which accepteth the greater, greater currency in return the lesser children. Postmistress will accept the offering and bestow upon me appropriate change. Okay, so we now have a bunch of coins. So now that we've done that, we have the letter to the librarian. Okay, can't do anything there. What about this? Still can't do anything on either of these, but I do have money. So I could give him... I could give him some. Okay. So it's worth six pence. Whoa. Maybe not. 30, 60. Okay, what's a florin? 24. Okay. A wary welcome at the inn. Okay, so a half crown is 30, a florin is 24. What if I do this one? It's a wary welcome no matter what. So I guess I'm going to throw in this and we'll see what happens. In the time of the Heptarchy, a ring giver was accounted generous. In this bright and civilized century, a beer buyer enjoys the same regard. Alright, so let's go to the inn, spend some money. So we... Okay, it's 12 for the inn. I bought a round for everyone and, an, and another. And one more for good luck. And thus I was accounted not so bad for a foreigner. I'll find a warmer welcome here next time. So we got a memory of solace. Okay, the Sweet Bones has been the public house in Brancrug uh, since Cromwell's time. Its history is notable, its beer is not. Guests looking for discreet employment or for discreet assistance congregate in the snug. So I can put in me or mine. So I can put in money or I can put in my help. There's not much work to offer in Brancrug, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. So let's start working on that. I don't really have anything better to do and I know we're going to need the money. Let's see. Nectar, green wealth in the world's veins, the pulse of the seasons long ago. Some called this principle blood. Okay, as they say, used to say in my youth, the day is done, but so am I. But I've earned my pay. So we get sixpence. It's not it's not much. But at least at least I can do a thing. Okay, can't do anything with that. Letter to the librarian. Okay, I don't think I can do anything there. I guess one option... No, I can't even... Okay, what about me or mine? Oh, interesting. They just transformed into a shilling. Okay, so I can buy labor for a day, but that's not helpful. Oh, let's consider the letter to the librarian. There we go. A message for me. Read the le letter. To reply instead, add, add ink at a desk. 
I finished reading. St. Ronwin's Trust wishes to congratulate me on the appointment as librarian of... What? Take notes wherever you prefer. What a clipboard. No, I want to read the thing. Oh, wait, no, it's up here. The letter reads, St. Ronwin's Trust wishes to congratulate me on my appointment as the librarian of Hush House. The trust assures me that I will provide the promised stipend each spring, but reminds me that its resources are limited and suggests I seek local assistance in restoring the premises. Let us know when you're all set up and ready to receive visitors, the letter concludes. It's signed simply, The Trustees. Okay. So this has readable and correspondence. I can reply to it from a writing desk. Well, I don't think I can do that at the moment. Can I consider my book? Yeah, I need a suitable soul card first. Can't do anything else. Oh, we have a memory solace. Can I consider it? No. Yeah, because I've already considered the letter. And I don't have anybody to talk to. Offering. Okay, so she breaks money into smaller bits, but that's not helpful. I don't think anything happens as time passes. Unless something pops up here where I can actually rest. Because apart from hiring a laborer and potentially trying to use that to get access to the smithy, that's about all I've got. Okay, night has fallen, dawn will come soon. Okay, so we've copied that to the clipboard, but that's not it. Yeah, that's an assist assistance from a miner. Oh. Hoppins will buy me a hearty meal. And a quiet place where I can rest and gather my thoughts. Okay. There we go. So rest and refreshment spring. So I can't stay with the uh, the kills. I think you could in the demo, but they've taken that away from me. So I actually have to do some effort here to pay my pay my way. Better now. Pause. Okay, so we've got a penny, penny, a sixpence, and a shilling. Okay, so it's very cheap, but I can get my health back this way. Okay, let's organize that. So now that we've done that, we could work some more, but I've got money for a while. Uh, let's see, can I combine those together? Or are they different? Oh, three pence versus a pen. Oh, got it. Okay. What do I need on this one? I need repairs. So in that case, me and mine. Uh, let's see. I think it's a sixpence. Twelve pence. So I guess let's throw a shilling at him. Yeah, you know, there's more I could do in the town in the demo, but it looks like they've changed that. The miners offer scale forge and a little moon. All right. So we get a miner's assistance. So he is... Thus they more or less ruled themselves with the help of their wild Celtic temperament, made wilder by the hardness of their lives and the truly ghastly conditions under which they worked. With all this... Wait, with all the, all this, it is not... Oh, with all this, it is not to be wondered that the tinners required the, acquired the reputation of being scarcely human. But it must be remembered among them at all times were those whose characters could stand in comparison with the best of men. Okay, question. Can I actually... I can put the miner's assistance in here. Mutual acquaintance will introduce me to Denzel the Smith. I might get six or seven... Six or even ten words out of him. So we can get access to the smithy now, but we should probably work on that bridge. 
because I need to get access to the library. Unfortunately, that's going to take a while. So what else can I do? So we need an introduction. We don't have one. But I can throw Wist in here. Here's the thing. I can also throw Wist in here. Let's start studying my journal. I might as well have both of these running simultaneously. Actually, we might as well do like a bunch. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, so we are doing a bunch because we have this open and we have this. And I think they should be going simultaneously. Multitasking. So I'm considering the journal, I'm working, and I'm having the bridge get repaired. I don't know where Shaft goes yet. It's probably useful up here, but later. I also have clouds. Sun is cur Okay. In this country, the sky is rarely clear. The sun goes courteously cloaked. Okay, pause. We've got a couple of things. So, my wist, we've got a Sanskar journal. I'm the librarian of Hush House, and this journal will record what arose from my crime and my curse, the archaeologist's dearest wish, when they came to the house, was to record a history where their crime could be forgiven or re redefined. But you can con complete the game by recording any history. You might wish to begin your studies with this uh, Scully Cos uh, Coscophy. Wait, Scully Coscophy. Wisdom. And right, what's this one? Oh, we have more shafts. Alright, that's useful. Unfortunately, I can't do anything until I get there. Maybe I should have seen about hiring a second miner first just to be able to unlock the smithy. Oh well. Doesn't matter, we might be able to get quite a lot done. Maybe. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, the bridge is open. Okay. The cottage where Hush House's groundskeeper lived. Under the fire. If I can get into the place and make it habitable, I can use it as a base for reclaiming more of the house. Do I need a key or a hand? Or something? No. Okay, so I think this is where the blacksmith comes in handy. But I could be wrong. Okay, so let's collect that. We get some more money. Uh, and I'm going to throw six pence. Hiring another miner. Okay, collect that. Pause. Talk to the smithy. Mutual acquaintance will introduce me to Denzel the smith. I might be able to get six or even ten words out of him if I'm patient. So let's let that go. Departure. Okay, someone's finished their work and are going home. Memory Foresight. Wits Forge and Fire Blast. Meanings Press and Screw. Coleridge on Don's Poetry. Denzel's a surprising source of practical knowledge. Smithy is now available. Okay, so where can I use this? Well, we can talk to him. Denzel will talk about practical matters. Though he prefers to sit in silence, a shilling will buy his help for a day. If you give him a cult coinage, who perform the service of division instead. All right, let's start with Shaft. Let's just talk to him. I'm just going to throw money at him. Because I know we can get more. It's just going to be very slow and arduous. Okay, so we now have the blacksmith's assistance, money, and we are tired. However... That should get me in here. Okay, now that we've done that, uh, let's see what else. What else and where else can we go? Can I use shaft here? No, I can use shaft with the priest, but I guess I can't use shaft with these lads. Memory foresight. Can I consider it. No, unfortunately, some of these memories. Oh, I could use Shaft here if I wanted to. So I can... Oh, I can just use any of these, I guess. To work. 
So I can give her money to split currency. I can talk to him. And I need an introduction. Okay, well, seeing as I have nothing else to do, we might as well start working here as well. Because we're going to need money, and chances are we're just going to have to rest again. Now, let's see. But if we're lucky, once we get in, in here, gosh, this freaking hush house is massive. Like, you have the town, which is vaguely about the same size as the hush house. Okay, right. We might as well be on times four speed. There's no real limitations. You don't have to worry about your health as much in this one, which, uh, your health or your sanity or anything, which I really appreciate. I used to say in my youth, the day is done, so am I. We get six pence. It's not much, but at least I have two shilling. I have a florin. Okay. So we have a couple of things. For 500 years, the time... In the times we call baronial, curia, nocturnal, there was always a keeper to watch the ways. Weed the gardens, mend the roof when the sun was shining. There's no keeper now, but the lodge's roof still weathers the storms of Brancrug Bay. Okay. So what do I need? Because I think we need to fix this. Gate. Key. The walls of the house tower above me. I've been told that it was abandoned after a fire. But there's no sign of any such thing. The building will no doubt need restoration, but it's in better shape than I feared. Books are the memory that does not die. So I need keys, I need knock, thing, and knock. Yeah, we could get another miner. I think we might wanna, we might wanna just rest. It looks like it just put in health. Uh, sure. Oh, what? Oh. Well, we have a miner's assess uh, assistance. And I can rest. Yeah, I have no key. But maybe that miner's assistance doesn't have a... Well, we could have just wasted some money here. Whatever. Okay. So at least my health is back. I can throw my health in here. I'm gonna save. Ow. Because I need a key. We had Denzil help us earlier. But yeah, let's throw our health in here and see what happen What happens. So I can give him some money, but yeah, let's just talk to him. Okay, nothing. I guess let's start... Give him a shilling. Okay, I'm now fatigued. But we now have his assistance again. Put this in. Oh. Uh, do we just throw in the crown? Sure. Okay, it's spring and the landlady has served me a slice of her starry gazy pie with the pilchard heads poking cheekily through the hot crust. Okay. We've got a couple of things. We could... Oh, let's talk to the miner. Collaborate. Memory of foresight. Okay. No, what about this one? No, it doesn't help me. Blacksmith. Yeah, if I, if I can't start it, I can't do anything. Okay, what about considering? I can consider my book. Spot bookshelf. Oh, wait, hold up. We have a bunch of things in here. This isn't... This isn't just nothing. Uh, 
I can actually put these down. What? Okay, what do we have? Traveling at Night, Volume 2, Volume 1. Uncatalogued Book. Honey Scented Candle. Silk. Keeper's Lodge. And a bed. Occupant. Me? Use matching soul card to move your belongings and make this your bed. Or place a matching visitor card to encourage them to stay longer. Interesting. The blacksmith cannot assist me with this one, but I should maybe be able to stay there now. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so... I wasted some money trying to hire them. But it's fine. It's learning. Okay, so I get my crown back. Uh, I guess first and foremost. Yeah, what do we do for the key? Well, I guess what we do... What we do is we grab the key. <laughs> How did I miss that? Okay, so let's unlock that building. Over here, can I consider these? Soul. Twist. Catalog a Curia period book. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's Curia period, roughly 1700s and 1800s. The examiner can learn more about its knowledge, what it may contain. Books from this period are rarely contaminated. Interesting. Well, meanwhile, we should probably put at least some of my shaft to work. As we are going to need a source of funds. And I have been squandering at least some of it, not knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. At least we're, we've are we gotten into the house much faster this time around. Last time I was like fiddling around talking to the priest a bunch and kind of lost. This, this feels a lot more directed. I don't know if I just missed on how to make it work last time or if I just, they've, they've redone the game uh, to get you in the house faster. That's my bet. Okay, numpad plus. Ooh. Oh, those are zooms. Eh. Yeah, the problem with numpad plus is that's my start and stop recording buttons. Uh, I don't really want to press those. Okay, so we have the berry book. There's a Blake, seventh librarian of Hush House, talks about fruit. For no other apparent reason but that it was the kind that kind of thing she did. He talks about fruit in the woven language of Kill a see me. Can I consider it? What is this? I'm just gonna start. We'll see what happens. Okay. A tight web of lines and angles that confounds the eye. Is it even a language? I certainly can't read it. Okay, so I don't think I can do anything with that now. Exploring the house. Unlock and refurbish rooms with assistance from villagers and outsiders. Use your elements of soul to enhance their abilities and reach more challenging rooms. Okay. So I need to hire a person for that one. I think both of these. Yeah, so each of these tags probably changes how this room is perceived. The Watchman's Tower Gatehouse. Back in the 11th century, Brian of Brittany built the tower and its gate to protect St. Brandon's Abbey, as Hush House was then known. Later, the Barons de Wolf strengthened the gate against their many enemies. But it's a long time now since Hush House was any kind of fortress. By the time the scholars of the Curia took possession, this place had long been a comfortable waiting room for visitors to the house to minor, too minor to merit immediate attention. Okay, so yeah, we're going to need to hire some lads. Okay. I'm just going to burn my money. Because no matter what, we're going to need a guy. Oh.
Okay, so we need assistance. He's not enough for that one. What about this one? Cloistered Garden? Okay. I'm just going to screenshot this. So the miner, the miner's assistance is not helpful here. It does make me wonder. Maybe we'll need the smith. Maybe we'll need somebody else. Question. Topic. So I can give him money. Maybe not. I guess I'm going to just throw my health in there. Yeah, because I still need an introduction on that one. What about the front room? I might have actually been able to use my wist on them. And maybe that's the trick. Yeah, so I can talk to him. I can collaborate on clouds. Wait, I can. More useful than one might expect, especially in Britain. The influences of the turning skies can boost assistance abilities for the rest of the day. Interesting. Might be a little late in the day, is the one unfortunate part. We'll see how this goes. This might actually work out in my favor, or it might not. Pause. Okay, wait. He is worth an introduction now. No. Yeah, where can he go? Can't go there. And he can kind of go there, but mostly not. Yeah, I can keep talking to him, but that's not helpful. Let's see. Collect that. Get a little bit of money. Combine back into a crown. And collect our shaft. Shaft. Can I talk to him? Oh, here we go. Education or beguilement. Boost knock and forge. I don't know. I'm just going to keep poking at things. Something's going to open up for me. It feels like one of those that once you know what you're doing on this game, it goes much smoother. My assistant and I fall into conversation. Okay. But I'm assuming he is still... We need forge and lantern. We have plenty of forge, but no lantern. Double lantern and... Nectar. Yeah, he is none of those. It seems like I can effectively just t talk the guy. Oh. He with the rector. Mutual acquaintances introduced Reverend Timothy. The rector did in invite me for a cup of tea. There may be crumpets. So we boosted the miner enough that we can actually just talk to the priest. Sick. Reverend Timothy's tea goes cold while he expostulates on the post-restoration politics and theories about pagan traditions of the miners. The rectory is now available. Alright. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do that, but cool. So I've got some gossip. Can't do that there, but I might be able to do something else. Here? No. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I, mean, I can't talk to him. Unfortunately, I think this is going to go away. But alas. So what do we need for this one? Moon and winter. Yeah, I don't think we found any characters that really benefit from that. Let's go back over here. Because I bet... Close out of the title flats. But I can drag my fatigue here. Really? I cannot sleep in the guest bed.
So it needs to be an occupant. Is essential. And that occupant cannot be me for whatever reason. So you mean to say that I have a room, but I can't stay there. Rude. I mean, we could wait. I might be able to just stay up all night. Because my health might not come back, but everything else might. Oh, no, they just do. Okay. Let's whist. Because they've got lantern and winter. We need lantern and forge. Oh, so we might need the smith for that one. And then lantern and nectar. Let's go take a look around. One of these might have what I'm looking for. Lantern and key, no nectar. Yeah, I'm not finding anything. So health gives me nectar. Check once again. Lantern and Forge. Because the one thing I didn't test... No, it's not immediately clear. I guess, honestly, let's just kill some time. See what we can get. Reverend Timothy enjoys a thoughtful conversation, prayer, and tea. He'll offer his assistance in return in return for one shilling donation to church funds. Oh, wait, hold up. He might get us onto the beach. Moon, though. Never mind. Okay, let's use Shap for now. Let's just try talking to him. See what we get. And it is raining. Oh, hold up. I think... We have the garden, or we have the gatehouse stairs. I think the garden's more valuable. Getting in here requires lantern. I'm pretty sure he's lantern. And winter. Okay, let's see if I can hire him. And this might not work. We have him. So he has double lantern, assistance, introduction, and knock. Alright. So normally he's not going to fit in here. Oh, he will. Let me take a look then. Okay, you can only unlock one room at a time. So in that case, I should probably just use my shaft and start trying to re recover HP. Oh, wait, hold up. Occupant. Huh. Does that mean I can stay in this bed? No, I cannot. Ah, needs interested in heart. Wait, hold up. No. You do have heart. Hmm. Yeah. So we're just going to move in here. Oh, that's going to take a minute and a half. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not using it for anything else. But at least we can have a pl place to stay. 
eventually we'll open up the rest of this. Okay, so we have the garden. St. Brandon's Cloister. The sisters and brothers of the Abbey built these gardens in the 13th century. The height of the period we call the Solar Gothic. Walk here a while and breathe the peace they left. Oh. We also have a garden. Effort and knowledge. Okay. So I might be able to come back here later with my wit wist uh recovered. And then I'll be able to do something. Let's just work. Again, there's no time limit here, so I might as well accrue some level of funding. Because it seems like getting assistance here is going to be kind of expensive. Okay, a walled garden. Long tower first floor. True first threshold. Assistance, but we need plenty of knock and rose. I think I can get the priest again for these. Oh, so it requires at least one of these aspects. So we need either Lantern 3 or Winter 3. Alright, fixing and mending. Collect. Take a look. Six seconds. Camp. Collect. Okay, so we can do a number of these things. So we can restore any of these. Oh, add a beverage to restore your soul card without waiting overnight. Okay, so that's slightly annoying. As I can now do pretty much nothing for a while. I guess let's just speed through the rest of the day. What else am I going to do? I guess we're just going to have to live with it. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, what else do we do? Oh, I should have... I should have checked. Because I took a screenshot. But I'm pretty sure that screenshot I took was of, like, a hyper-boosted... Um, like, a very boosted worker. Let me, let me double-check. Now that's Steam screenshots. I'm just looking for my usual ones. There we go. Okay, so the miners have Forge... Moon, whatever the worm is, assistance, and some other things. So I guess we do know how useful they are. This might be one of those that we actually want to write down what some of these characters are actually useful for. Because uh, I don't think there's a way I can check. We could also take a look at the Tree of Wisdom. So it needs, needs journal. We should probably go back, retrieve our journal, and see if I can consider it. Now that we've properly built it up, I'll put this one here. Bring it back. Uncatalogued and not soaked. Well, it's no longer soaked. Readable thing journal. Is it not? Well, if I highlight it, I don't even have to click on it. I just mouse over it and it'll flash. Oh, a sign. There we go. So, I see. So we find different books to catalog in here. I understand now. So we have whatever this weird fruit book is. It has got alley price. A price as the invisible world would reckon it. A price paid in uncommon currency, like tokens called spin tray. Nectar, readable thing, codex. So what is that? Preservation. Or preservation? Okay. Oh, wait. Mystery nectar. Didn't we see one of those go by? Hmm. The Bosque. 
But maybe it's one of those that I have to actually be able to read it first. Oh, Trist. Change and longing, one of the nine parts of the human soul. Okay, then we've got some big stuff out here. Bird song. Hormacus, uh, Horomacus tree. Probably horoscope, maybe? Ithistry, illumination, hushery, nictodromy, scolicoscophy, the bosk, preservation. Okay, so I don't think I can do anything with that at the moment. I think we either need books of some variety or something. Uh, so in that case, I can consider that. Can I use Trist? Okay, so we have this. Mystery Scale, which might have actually been one of the ones we want. Counts by Governor Kohler's private secretary of interventions and experiments in the last years of the Circubit prison, focusing partic particularly on the hill children, wild wood things that have found a shape in the physical world. Collect that. Uh, let's see. I swear I saw one of these. Nope. All right, never mind then. Oh, I can read it. Soul skill. Okay. So I need a soul skill before I can actually study any of these. Well, I guess we'll just leave it for next. Let's see. So can I consider this one? I should be able to read it. No. Oh. Okay, so it needs element of the soul. Mystery scale. What about whist? What about tryst? What about health? Health. You provided the scale, but not enough to match the mystery scale. If you're lucky, you might just succeed. So I can't actually... Can't, I can't get this one as much. Um... Hmm. In that case, I'm going to put these books over here for the time being. We've got these here. We could consider them. Mystery Knock. Unfortunately, I don't think I have... M Wait, mystery knock. Knock. Oh. I could use a skill, but I don't have any skills in languages. So I'm going to just try this, perhaps. You've provided knock, not enough. If you're lucky, you'll succeed. Okay, so well, that goes. It is also sunny. I don't think it would help. I'm understanding how this works now. Everything is a key. Uh, I guess it's, I'm going to throw in my tryst. I've gathered, gathered enough mystique to tell fortunes for pennies. Undignified, perhaps, for the librarian of the hush house, but times are hard. Yeah, let's just um keep gathering some money. We don't have to worry about upkeep as much. But it's not a bad idea for me to... Still build a bit of a war, war chest that I can work with. Holy smokes, I've spent an hour on this already. I didn't even notice. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There's still a chance. Okay, so I can increase by adding a second shaft. I've mastered this. I've gathered the lessons it concealed. The wood lies outside the walls of Mansus. Any student of the histories knows the Ma Mansus has no walls. I've read. Ilia Ilopoli describes how he came to make repeated visits to a dream wood via what he calls silver dreams. Trying to think your way into the wood, he explains, is like thinking your way into being in love. But I did find a secret that helped. Okay, so we got the book back. 
We are fatigued. We have a memory impulse and lesson. Edict's liminal. Okay, so let's collect those. Use this card with consider or at a desk. So we probably want to use those before it gets too late. The memory impulse would be interesting, but yeah, let's consider this lesson. A new skill, the precepts of limitation and division, established by the enigmatic conclave of ours, sometimes called the chancel. I'm glad I didn't just spend my whole day just doing nothing. Okay, so Trist literally got me two pence. That sucks. What about Whist? What would Whist get me? Oh. Offer help with correspondence and arithmetic. There's no school in Brancraig. Not everyone here knows the letters. Let's do that. Even if I could actually use that for something else, I do want to figure out what makes me money. Another leaf on the Tree of Wisdoms. Edicts Liminal. Precepts of Limitation and Division, established by the Enigmatic Conclave of Hours. Okay, so I now have a skill that I can apply to certain things. Uh, including Nyctodromi and Scolioscophy. I can consider that. To upgrade a skill, you need an element of soul with matching power aspects. I see. So can't do that yet. Later, though. So I could consider this. What about this one? Unfortunately, we need Mystery Sky, and I don't think we have... We don't have that. Okay. So I think we're going to lose the Memory Impulse, but I wasn't really expecting too much. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these are not particularly helpful. Because, yeah, so... This means this category, no matter what. So, yeah, I think we're out of luck. I could try and, uh, I could try and recover, maybe. But whatever. Help with letters. Whist, and we get sixpence. Alright, so in that case, I guess I will just start working. We'll just wait for the next day. So... I think at this point is a good stopping point. I'm having a blast with this. It's very slow and might not be the most watchable game ever. But from my perspective, I really like these games where you're starting from nothing and you're kind of leveling yourself up by doing a variety of activities. Big points on this one, you're not leveling up with like skill points or EXP. It's just like you found a cool thing. You open it up and it gives you something permanent. So in this case, we got Edix Liminal and a couple extra uh, re stat resources, elements of soul to play around with. And so those those little aspects of this game help a lot uh, at just having a nice feeling of progression while also like delving into the mysteries of this game in various manners. It's everything I wanted out of Cultist Simulator, uh, but slightly or considerably less frustrating, which for me is huge. Uh, I didn't hate Cultist Simulator, but it definitely made me hate playing it every once in a while. And so this in turn feels like, oh, hey, this is... Truly everything I wanted out of Cultist Simulator with none of the things I hated, at least that I know of. And so it's just kind of a matter of, I don't want to say optimization, but like working here is a waste of time. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm I'm wasting my act actions, it's just not as efficient. You know, I could be spending these here to open books up to do all sorts of things. But I don't actually know if that's really worth it. Do we even have anything that would let me pop this sucker open? Not really, no. So we're just going to put that back on the shelf. Can I even consider this? And we don't have any memories. Actually, let's unpause for a second. Let's wait until we see the weather for the day. Gale. I'm just going to throw it in. We'll see what happens. Oh, I could reread it and perhaps recall a memory. Okay, good to know. That's how that works. So, not the most worth it.
Okay. But now we've managed to regain that memory for whatever good that does us. Cool. Well, rather than put a whole lot of time into this, I think it's better that I just... Or actually, let's throw in more Trist. Because we know we can't make money off of that one. And we want to just keep examining books until we run out of things that we can examine. Okay, so we have Sunrise Awakenings. A uncharacteristically poignant meditation by the edgelong throng of Marionid, who later come to, came to Hush House under a variety of other names, often in search of some sort of fight. Okay. So now that I can consider it, what does it require? It requires four lantern. We have lantern there. This gives us none. This gives us none as well. However, we can get help. For better and worse. This guy's got lantern. The study. Hold up. So I, I need to save Wist. I want to talk to him. One shilling donation. Ooh, dude is expensive. Okay, so we now have his assistance. So we can consider this book. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work. It's fine. Hey, we can go at, at it 50-50. Like, I could, I could crack at it and might still get in. I'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at him. So he is two lantern. Two lantern. So all is not wasted. I can throw him at exploring that section. And we might as well work for the day. Because I don't think I'm getting anything else done. All right. Well, I'm going above and beyond what I should be doing here. But I'm just starting to crack the game. And that's very satisfying. We'll just have to leave it for later. And look, we have more books. And whatever, a mirror scope. Cool. Well, anyway. Uh, so Book of Hours is out today or tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. It's out on the 17th. And highly recommended if you like these kind of slow burn management games. Uh, incremental RPGs where you really are leveling yourself up. It just doesn't quite feel like it because you're interacting with the world and getting skills and abilities as part of that rather than just like kill a monster, gain 20 e EXP. I don't know. Let's see. And yeah, I have no way of boosting this one. So still a chance, but I doubt I'm getting through it. Comfort. By using a comfort. I don't have any comforts. I can put in a thing. Hold up. I might have a thing. It's unlikely, but let's check these books. One of these might have an aspect I'm looking for. Mystery scale, but we're going for lantern. Though there is the tally price? I don't know. I'll throw it in. We'll see what happens. Okay, I can always try for later. Memory of hindsight, though. What is this? Scale. Winter and a memory. But, alas, we'll have to try again another day. For now, though, uh... Oh, what did we get? What is this? A memory crossed, hatched line snapped. A defeat when the scale is present. Leave a whist shell crossed. I've overtired myself. My thoughts are crabbed and strange. Your whist now has a malady. Shell crossed. Thoughts are tangled and unfamiliar to me. Something of those who came before. The carapace crossed. Always lingered in humankind. It's arisen now in me. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And manual labor. We get at least money. Cool. Well, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.